So we're looking at Boolean expressions, trying to work out if they'll evaluate to be true or false. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to make sure they all evaluate to be true. So if we start with this top one, uh, we've got 3 is equals to 4. That's true. We've got true or true. And as long as either the left side of an or is true, then it will, the whole thing will evaluate to true. And then we've got this and. So unlike an or, both sides of an and have to evaluate to be true. So we know this left side of the and evaluates to be true. So we need to put a true here for the right side to do. And if I put false, then it will be false. Now, that maybe doesn't make sense to read because there's lots of things going on. So one thing we can do to make this simpler is to put brackets in. So we know in which order things are working. And you could mentally replace these brackets one at a time. So we know that 3 dot is equal to 4 is false. But false or true is true. So our whole uh, expression simplifies down to true and true, which we know is true as the output would be. So if we look at the next one, a equals 13, b equals 7. a is greater than 2 times b. Well, that's false. Or, and the brackets are already here this time, b is equal to something and not something else. Now, because we know that this left-hand side is false, and this is an or, and we're trying to get a true, what's in this bracket has to evaluate to be true. So b is equal to 7 is true. That's the left-hand side of the and. So the right-hand side of the and also has to be true. And the, opposite, the not of true is false. So not false is true. B is equal to 7 is true. So this whole bracket is true. So at least one side of the or is true, and therefore it evaluates to be true. So again, we could add a few more brackets here to make things even clearer and do the exact same process we did in the previous one, where we replace the brackets one by one. So this first bracket evaluates as false. This bracket evaluates as true. This bracket evaluates as true. Therefore, that bracket evaluates as true. Therefore, the whole thing is true. Okay, and then this last one, 2.45 as a string is equal to the formatted string of 2.4467, where the formatting we use is two decimal places.